My name's Chloe. And I'm an absolute fucking nightmare. So people will go like, who's that mad looking weed all with a bin bag? Oh, that's Chloe, fucking nightmare, so she is. Mrs. Baird looks raging about the whole car brick thing, but she's secretly delighted, I bet. Well, she's hated me ever since I told everyone to start calling her Mrs. Beard. So, like, straight off the bat, she's like, right, well, you're definitely getting expelled this time, you horrible wee her, you. And it wasn't even fucking me. <laughs> all right, all right, maybe it definitely fucking was me, but Beardy shouldn't be accusing me when she has no real evidence. That's what's so unfair. I was actually minding my own business at lunch, having a wee think about just, um, you know, Brexit or some shite. But then this wee ginger fuck nugget comes up and laughs at my bin bag. He says something, but he mumbles so much I can barely make out a word. It was something like, that bin bag's pure rare, lad. So I go, up yours, Fanta balls. But then he mumbles something like, your ma and dad don't love you, lad. So? Understandably, I go buck daft. <laughs> I've got the way stroke cornered. He stands in front of this big fancy car and mumbles something like, uh, this is old beardy's car, lad. You missed your for it, lad. And I'm like, I never miss. <laughs> Some fucking mouth told the teacher that they saw someone who looked a wee bit like me hanging around the car park. In other words, they have fuck all proof. So I'm like, well, it wasn't me. I spent the whole lunch in the toilet, pure bugging my ringer up. I think it might be food poisoning. But then she's all grand. We'll check CCTV and see if you went into the toilets or not. You sly wee slabber, you. Actually, I forgot I wasn't in the toilets. I was at a choir practice, pure singing my whole off, somewhere towards the back. And then she's all, choir practice was cancelled today, you daft wee dick. And then her secretary sticks her head in the door and goes, your wee doll's foster ma's here, so she is dirty. And my heart just fucking shits itself. Great. Well, she looks fucking livid. So I'm like, sorry for telling a load of lies there about where I was at lunch. And Beardy's getting all sassy because she still has half a sandwich left and she's all, so tell the truth and shame the devil, you absolute weapon. So I'm like, uh, actually, I was helping a mate of mine. She, uh, she stole a necklace from her ma. And even though she's like wild fucking sorry about it, she, uh, she's worried her ma's gonna kick her out. She just stares at me. Straight away, I'm thinking, fine, good, excellent. I've packed my life into a bin bag a million fucking times. <laughs> Still only half empty. And just as I'm about to really, like, oh, fuck shit up, something weird happens. She smiles at me. <laughs> People don't do that, like, ever. Maybe she's not a horrible wanker. Maybe she's a nice wanker because then, like, she goes, Oh, did that there car brick thing happen at lunchtime? Aye. Because Chloe and her roommate were with me. I took them out for chips and chicken goujons and a bar of chocolate and, like, a mineral and, um, maybe some of that ice cream with, you know, the wee chody fucking marshmallows in it. Sorry. I just started being a foster ma and I pure forgot to tell the school I was taking her out. And before Beardy can say fuck all, our secretary sticks ahead in the door and goes, There's a funny looking wee ginger weirdo out here, Dirdre. He's mumbling something about seeing a big grip older lads chucking a brick at your car, the bad wee bastards. And I see the wee ginger fuck nugget from before. He's pure gawking at me like a psycho fucking stalker. But I am so relieved that I, I don't care. So Beardy Dirdre let us go. <laughs> she like no other choice. Afterwards, my foster ma said I could keep the necklace. She said it suits me better. She's not wrong, like. 
And then the wee ginger fucking nugget comes up all nervous. And I'm like, why'd you say that about my mum and dad not loving me? And he goes, I didn't even, lad. <laughs> I just mumble those. I actually told you I fancy it and I wanted you to come to the cinema with me, lad. So I look him right in the eye, dead romantic, like, and I go, go fuck yourself, Aunt the Balls. But I hope I know what that means, I. <laughs>